Alrighty, y'all. It's probably going to be a short one today, uh, but I want to come with you with another garden update. I got to come up here to the uh, garden because we used the wheelbarrow the other day, but we used the wheelbarrow for something very special. So uh, I'll show you what we did. All right, guys, for those of you who has been watching our videos, um, you know that right here, one, two, three, three is where we planted our potatoes but if you notice we've got stakes up right here so that means we put another row of something in now you probably never guess so i'll just tell you <laughs> we put in um a row of okra so this very end right here we're gonna make use of it look guys look at all the potatoes coming up we've got to get out here and uh and get these i've said it time and time again you gotta you gotta keep them healed up but all that green through there is our potatoes or a lot of it i should say so we gotta get this covered up but right here on the edge right through here right on the edge of the grass we planted okra from here all the way down to there now i don't know if you can notice you can see but i'll point it out so this is our first row of potatoes. This is our second row of potatoes. Where that green is, is our third row of potatoes. On the other side of that, we planted corn. And so we have got two rows of corn up into this trellis here. Now this trellis is not the prettiest thing you've ever seen. It's been up for quite a few years. And so hopefully we're either gonna be able to tighten it or maybe get some cattle panels or some fencing or something and fix that and tighten it up but as a marker right here and right here is where we planted corn now if we go over here i talked about us using tires we've got cabbage and we've got cabbage in these and cabbage in those and um we pulled out some onions because we've got onions planted all in here which is plenty and those on that far end just weren't doing very good and so we've got one two three four heads of cabbage there and we've got onions in here and i'm trying to think of what he planted here i can't remember what ricky planted here i might i'll have to ask him and let you all know later but Look at the radishes, guys. I couldn't remember what it was the other day when I was talking to you. But there's our radishes. There's our onion. And there is some cabbage. Everything is just doing absolutely beautiful. Everything is just bright and green when it's coming up. We've got some more taters it looks like we need to cover in the hay. Now, if we go over here, which is our other side of the garden here, if you look, we've got a trellis up here. So what do y'all think we planted here? <laughs> pole beans, we planted pole beans through here. And so, uh, well, his mother planted pole, pole beans through here. And so we've got beans since we last seen you. And since we last uh, did a video, his mother has added, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, Roma tomatoes, and I think a Cherokee purple. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe, um, peppers. Six more, so if I'm, if I'm correct, I don't want to mislead you, but I'm thinking that we've got 47 tomato plants just in this garden and so that's wonderful and great and we are just so happy about it so now i don't want this video to be short too short on you guys i did want to give uh, the garden update because you know how we are about gardens around here we love planting gardens we love being in the garden we love working together with the garden but this is my hay wheel wheelbarrow <laughs> And it's full of mud that we left in there um, when we were filling buckets and stuff. And so I've got to clean this out and um, go get my goat's hay. It's getting ready to rain. It's sprinkling. And so uh, we need to get, where are they at? Yep, there they are. They're waiting and whining for hay. So let's go ahead and get All it. All right. 
All right, scratch that. That's got way too much mud in it. Uh, I'm going to leave it like that so it'll go ahead and drain. Um, but, well, should I leave it like that or should I let it fill with water? Might let it fill with water again because it's going to rain and that way it'll clean some of that out. But I don't really feel like getting buckets of water and cleaning that out. So we'll just have to do the hay a pitchfork at a time. So while I'm walking down here to get the hay, um, I wanted to give an update on um, Baby Bop because I knew I told you all about her getting the udder and stuff. And so far, the babies are still being held hostage. Which might seem like a bad thing that it's taken forever, but we honestly don't know when she got bred, which is unfortunate. She must have had a silent heat that I just didn't see. And that's the thing about Kami too, as well. She she always has a silent heat. So unless I visually look and see that she is actually physically being bred, I don't know that she's actually being bred because she just has silent heats. And she's usually one day and done. She doesn't do like a three day period. Now her daughter is completely opposite. She wants all the attention um, and she wants to mount everybody, even the buck. And uh, she's very uh, aggressive and lets everybody know that she's in heat, but her mommy is not the same. And so um, Bop is still progressing. Um, she's still getting bigger in the belly. She's still getting an udder. And so we're just gonna hope and pray that we have a live birth. Um, for those of you that's been following uh, for a little bit of time since we've been posting, you you probably heard and uh, and realized that we have, I'm sorry, I'm having to adjust. <laughs> probably heard and realized that we um, have had a lot of trouble trying to get babies out of these goats. I've owned these specific boar goats. Uh, Nawa and uh, Cami were the first goats that we had on the far farm. I've owned them for five years and have yet to have a live birth. And so we've had false pregnancies, we've had, had miscarriages, and we've looked into it, and we feel like we've narrowed it down um, to something that we just needed antibiotics for um, to treat. And so we have treated the herd, and then we're going to treat them again next month. They have to get antibiotics um, twice uh, within, I think, a 60-day period. And so uh, we're treating them, and we're going to see how it goes. So far... Um, this go around when it came when it comes to baby bop um, She has gotten a bigger udder than any of the does previously that we've either had a false pregnancy out of or a miscarriage with also Nala had her false pregnancy last year and she is um, Showing a progression in her pregnancy that makes me feel good um, But we won't know we won't know until the babies are here um, which is really sad. I, I hope that we'll have a good outcome and y'all be praying for a good outcome for us because this is something that we've uh, put a lot of time and money and effort and sadness and a lot of emotions and anger into. And uh, I really just want a good outcome this year. I really want this year to be our year. So y'all keep us in prayer and keep the animals in prayer um, that maybe we can progress finally um, when it comes to our goats. So we'll just have to see. All right, so the wheelbarrow didn't work. <laughs> I could hardly get that out. Um, so I had to pitchfork. I rolled out what's left of the roll bale, which is not much. Um, well, I didn't roll out all of what it was, but quite a bit of what it was. And um, I piled the hay up in here, and so I'm taking it out by pitchfork very slowly, and they're not appreciating it. So let me show you what it is. So I've done give some to the little girls. Let me show you. Their hay's full. And so I've got to take some up to the big, the big kids uh, that I'm pulling this off piece by piece. So I'll show you how I'm doing it. I come in here, um, I come in here to get my tripod, but I wanted to show you um, the other plants we didn't plant. Uh, this is the cucumber and the watermelon. So they're doing really well. Awesome. First, let's take this jacket off. It's getting roasty. Second, let's get a drink. Because I'm thirsty. Um, I've said previously, I'm allergic to this hay. <laughs> Something that's in it. And so, as soon as I get around it, it instantly makes my nose itch. Uh, let me fix the lighting here. Yeah. It instantly makes my nose itch, and it instantly makes me thirsty. 
which is part of it. It's part of having animals. You got to deal with different stuff. I'm also allergic to the rabbits fur, <laughs> but I have rabbits anyways. So it's the same thing with the hay. I've got to feed the rabbits and the goats hay. So you just got to deal with the hay. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I'm doing. So here's my pitchfork, my handy dandy hay fork. And, um, that's about how much they need. <laughs> and so I'm taking it by the pitchfork. Let me grab y'all. Let's see if we can get this pitchfork without dropping stuff. And, uh, we're hanging it. <laughs> and taking it up here to the goats. This is, <laughs> this isn't practical, but it works. So. Leave it to me. Figure out some wonky way to do something. <laughs> You're only hungry, are you? Ah, what are you looking for? Ah. What are you looking for? You're only hungry, are you? Ah. Where this is the center of the bale, um, it's a lot more stemmy and stuff. And of course the goats love the thick stems and the scrub and uh, all the rough grass. Um, so they're loving it. They eat it up. Nala's even getting down on her knees eating it like a baby. Is that good, Nala? Andy's asked how the tater's looking. They're looking wonderful. They're coming up out of the ground, a bunch of them. Yeah, you have to go up there and look. Let's go show Andy. What'd you think of the garden? Good, he said, it's looking good, son. <laughs> oh, gotta go get some more hay and fill that other feeder up. Let me show you my chickens. Look at them, they're just loving life. Just scratching through that wet hay. We got Tiger Lily right there, Ginger over here, Topper, um, Uno right here, he moved at Easter. And then let's see, Cassidy is the white one. Down here is Sunny. Right there, I'm sorry, right there is in India, the white, uh, the black one right there is India. There's Rupert, there's Raven, who was previously known as Margot. Or actually, no, that's Polly right there. I can't even tell her, no. Nope. The one that I said was India is Polly. Her and India look a lot alike. India is up here. She's a little bit bigger than her mommy. And then right next to India is um, Rogue. Here's the little babies. There's Raven. I named her Margo at first, but she looks like a raven. Like a blackbird. Well, y'all, how's your day going? Y'all having a good day? Leave a comment down below and let me know how you're having a... Whether you're having a good day or a bad day. If you're having a bad day, I'll pray for you. I appreciate y'all watching uh, more than you know. We've got a lot of people, a lot of friends and family that watch us. And it almost makes you feel uh, awkward <laughs> to come into somebody's house or somebody to send you a picture and say, we're watching you. But I appreciate it. And I thank everybody that watches. I'm extremely grateful for y'all. I'm not, uh, I'm doing this for fun, but um, I'm doing it to help others too. And I just appreciate everybody watching it. It means a lot to us. And um, Blake, and of course, loves being seen on the TV screen. And so uh, we just appreciate you all watching. And and I thank you for um, hanging out with us uh, like y'all do. Now that we got everybody hay, this is my rabbit bucket. 
and um, this is where we get our feed out of for the rabbits with our little scoop here. Um, and I need to fill this up because it's about right here. We're definitely going through more feed than we did previously. Um, but that'll die back down uh, once the babies are gone. Uh, the babies will be leaving <laughs> next week. Some of them will be leaving next weekend. Um, and some of them will be leaving the weekend after that. And so... Uh, it's kind of bittersweet to see them go, but uh, it'll be neat to see uh, where they all go. Um, a woman contacted me maybe two days ago. Yeah, probably the day before yesterday. And if she follows through with what she said she was going to do, um, she contacted me looking for a rabbit um, for a pet. Um, a class pet actually for a special needs class. And so um, I feel really good about that. Um, and she chose our little brown one who was the last one left. And he is just gonna be, I think, perfect for the job as a classroom pet. And so um, I hope uh, that she comes and picks him up. And uh, if everything goes perfectly, you know, the way it should go, then uh, she'll come and pick him up and he will be uh, going on a wonderful adventure as a classroom pet um, for special needs kids, which makes me feel good um, that one of my animals uh, that I've raised can uh, contribute uh, such a wonderful thing um, out in this world. Hey. Yeah, we'll get her And these bags definitely don't go unused. We use these bags for um, trash bags. I did want to talk about this. If you all in your area have um, a Southern States, I know that I've talked previously about when we got when we officially got this bag of feed. We were buying our feed uh, from Tractor Supply, and it was the Demore 10-pound bag of feed, and we were paying $11 for just the 10 pounds um, in our area. And so... We, uh, my husband went to Southern States, which is where, uh, we get just other feeds, our dog feed, um, our chick starter, or not, well, not our chick starter feed, but like our little crumbles, um, our, uh, just a couple of uh, different things that we get. And he said, you know what, I'm going to pick some of this up and it's the Rabbit Food Southern States brand. And at our, um, at our Southern State store here where we live, or uh, close to where the farm is, I think it was $21 for this bag. And so that's a definite, um, and it's a 50, pound, a 50 pound bag. And I looked, at, and it's 18% protein, and it's just alfalfa pellets, which is exactly what rabbits need. And it says for all stages. And so I'm feeding it to my babies, and I'm feeding it to my adults. Um, where it's 18%, I don't have to feed as much to the adults. Really, honestly, from what I understand, you're not really supposed to give your adult rabbits um, alfalfa pellets very much. I do give mine, uh, mine alfalfa pellets because they're breeders. And so I want to make sure, you know, they're getting ready um, to breed. Um, but there also comes a line, too, uh, especially for does and stuff, they say that they don't breed very well when they're fat. Um, but mine my doe uh, seems to be uh, about the perfect size um, for what her age range is and, and things like that and for her to be a breeder especially since after she had the baby she did lose weight obviously uh, she didn't get real skinny but you could just tell that she was skinnier obviously than what she was um, maybe before she started um, you know definitely skinnier than what she was when she was pregnant and so um, I do want to make sure that my rabbits are getting a good healthy diet which includes these alfalfa pellets along with um, the hay that you seen me uh, grabbing earlier. And so they get a good quality hay with a good quality pellet and I haven't had any um, health issues out of these uh, these rabbits so far and my babies seem to be growing really well on it. And so if you have a Southern States, um, uh, I recommend this feed. Can y'all see that belly? She's, ow! She just bit me. She's a hanging low. Come on. Can you see her? I sure hope we get some babies out of her. 
or at least one. <laughs> All right, let's go get these waters filled. I'm just gonna probably fill that up with one more gallon. It's gonna rain and stuff and it wasn't super low. And so, but these other ones need quite a bit of water. Here's another gallon. Probably at least one or two more gallons to fill this one up. It's starting to rain again, so I'm gonna take y'all in so we don't get wet. Uh, but I'm gonna fill these up or this other one up a little bit more. I grabbed her five gallon or five yeah five gallon bucket and it did the trick. All right, y'all, we're sitting up here on the porch and listening to the chickens make all their noise, but. I know we had a short one today, but I appreciate y'all hanging out with us and, uh, and watching the video. And if you enjoyed watching, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.